This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Election results for the Moses Lake School Construction Bond were unchanged after Thursday's recount. To celebrate National School Breakfast Week, police and firefighters stopped by elementary schools in Moses Lake to serve breakfast. A pilot with Alaska Airlines is donating a kidney to a flight attendant too sick to work. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. Election results for the Moses Lake School Construction Bond were unchanged after Thursday's recount. The Grant County Canvassing Board spent hours on Thursday going ballot by ballot, precinct by precinct to count more than 9,400 ballots submitted for the February 14th special election. The bond remains passing by 0.03%, needing a 60% majority to be approved. The bond allows the school district to build a second high school and a new elementary school and provide upgrades to Moses Lake High School. A group of six registered voters, supported by dozens of residents and paying the recount fee of more than $2,300, requested the recount after results were certified February 24th. On Wednesday, prior to the recount, a lawsuit was filed to contest the election results, claiming misconduct by the Grant County Auditor's Office relating to ballots with missing or mismatched signatures. The petition argues Grant County Auditor Michelle Jaderland failed to comply with state law requiring her office to attempt to notify voters whose ballots were not initially counted due to signature issues by phone when those ballots had not been corrected and returned. A hearing for the lawsuit is scheduled for March 20th in Grant County Superior Court. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. To celebrate National School Breakfast Week, police and firefighters stopped by elementary schools in Moses Lake to serve breakfast. Moses Lake Police and Firefighters, the Grant County Sheriff's Office, and Grant County Fire District 5 teamed up with the school district's Food Services Department, visiting different elementary schools each day during the week. Emergency personnel stepped behind the kitchen counter to dish out breakfast and took the time to sit and talk with students. The week not only gives police and firefighters a chance to make a positive impact on the young students, but encourages students to start their day with a healthy breakfast. Food Service Director Mel Lopez said National School Breakfast Week helps them educate parents and students about the healthy options offered in the school district. National School Breakfast Week was started in 1989 as a way to raise awareness of the school breakfast program and to promote the link between eating a healthy breakfast, academic achievement, and healthy lifestyles. The Moses Lake School District also held a school breakfast challenge throughout the week with special menus, decorations, and cafeteria events, as well as an iBreakfast smoothie promotion where students who eat breakfast at school every Monday in March have the chance to win iTunes gift cards and a new iPad mini. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Captain Jody Harskamp was on maternity leave four years ago when her roof suddenly burst into flames. She and her newborn got out okay, but the family's home was a total loss. Her co-workers at Alaska Airlines showed their support with food donations. And Jenny was actually one of the first people to show up with this wonderful lasagna and some bottles of wine. She didn't know me, I didn't know her. She just said, here's a lasagna and, mm-hmm. you know, good luck. This is my home. At the time, Alaska flight attendant Jenny Stansel had been suffering with chronic kidney disease for more than a decade. She and Harskamp soon flew together and became friends. But when Stansel became too sick to work a year ago, her doctor said she would die without a kidney transplant. So Harskamp was tested immediately. Perfect match. She had actually said, I'm going to serve you my kidney in an ice bucket on the drink cart. <laughs> and so, that was the joke. So I'm going to deliver it in an ice bucket. <laughs> she, from the very beginning, she had no doubt that she was going to be my donor. And, and I kind of felt the same way. The transplant will happen at Swedish in Seattle on Monday. Both are eager for Stansel to finally be healthy. I always say, I'm going to lose a kidney, but she gets to live. It's a pretty fair trade off. And pain is temporary. It's so bizarre that she would actually end up being my perfect match. And, and we're just a lot alike in a lot of ways. And it was the lasagna. It was the lasagna. It was made with love. From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slikey taking a look at the basin's forecast. 
Partly cloudy skies and mid-40s for your Monday. The overnight lows are still going to be chilly in the upper 20s to low 30s. Rain on Tuesday, low 40s. Partly cloudy skies on Wednesday and Thursday in the upper 40s. More of the same Friday as we move into the weekend. The chance of rain increases and will be in the mid-40s and low 30s during the overnight. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.